Buongiorno, welcome back to the Italian campaign, and oh, it's March 1919. Where's Austria-Hungary? What happened? Okay, I will uh, tell you what happened. So, after the uh, the last episode was recorded, I started playing some more, noticed I wasn't getting any battles. So I checked uh, the politics tab to see what kind of active fleet Austria-Hungary had, and it was zero. Then I noticed, oh yeah, they've scrapped a bunch of battleships, including the ones I damaged in previous battles, so I'm gonna claim kills on those. And their economy had shrunk from about the size of mine, 130 something uh, billion GDP, down to 20 something, and it was still shrinking, and add to that the um, Soviet invasions. As you can see here, they did get Galicia and uh, Hungary. It was very clear that, yeah, Austria-Hungary, they, they're just a month or two away from complete collapse. So I gave them a peace treaty, grabbed what I could, which was three battleships, and then they collapsed. So, yeah, at least I got something out of it. Uh, Germany was not quick enough to capture Austria before they collapsed. So that's still up for grabs. Speaking of up for grabs, this one popped up this month. So I've activated all of my navy to go and grab it. But sadly, I just don't have the tonnage. And uh, I didn't realize that until after I accepted the conquest mission. My, comp my total uh, navy tonnage is 390,000 tons. And the minimum needed here is 438,000. So that's just not possible. So that will be a failure. And I'm just going to send my ships back into port. So they're not going to cost me a lot of money. With the exception of this fleet here, they are here to annoy China. So they're going to stick around here. And the other battleship I had, where did it go to? Is that you? No, that's one of the Austrians. There we go, San Pietro Apostolo. You're gonna move here and join with the other uh, ships. Good thing there are no submarines or minefields, so I can just send that battleship unescorted. Now, the other ships here, uh, let's see, there you are, you're just gonna go back home to Ancona, uh, Arpad, uh, you're gonna stay in Naples. You're gonna go home to Gaeta. Except for the battleship Glorreicher, you're also gonna go to Naples. Together with Arpad. And Frederick also go to Naples. So these are my three Austro-Hungarian battleships. Let's take a look at those. Because they have been refit. Also I deleted a bunch of leftover designs, so the whole shipbuilding thing wouldn't lag so much. Yeah, I refit the uh, the Austrian battleships. And this is what they look like now. So gone are the 12.1 inch guns. They now got 13 inch guns. Gone is the uh, 15 knot top speed. It's now got a more respectable 21 knot top speed. Also, these had maxed out beam and draft which is probably why they were so incredibly difficult to kill. So I reduced that a little bit. Uh, gave them Krupp 2 armor, a better citadel, better range finding. I reduced the main belt from 18.7 down to 16.5, which is still pretty thick. And also I removed... they had a bunch of random secondary guns up here that we're just limiting the main guns arc of fire so those are gone 
And yeah, basically, that's the new and improved Austrian battleship, which is no longer Austrian. So now, uh, now you've seen that. Also, my three light cruisers. I I lost one along the way, uh, but the three remaining were sold to Canada, 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 and my um, what are they called? The uh, Garibaldino class DDs. They are also mothballed and up for sale, and yeah, my. Comp Total tonnage would be a little bit higher with these in service, but still not enough to pull off that invasion. So, but no one is buying them. I think that's because they are um, obsolete. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scrap these. They don't cost me a lot of money, but it's still something. So, goodbye, got a Bildino class. Come on. Why are you so difficult now? There we go. Off with you. Now, war with China it's quite likely in the future. They don't have a massive navy. Actually, no one does. Everyone has pretty normal sized navies. Largest ones being uh, Britain and Germany, it seems, followed by the United States. So I'm not at that much of a numerical uh, disadvantage. I don't know if that's because of the Dreadnought Improvement mod. If what, 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 uh, what the mod does is it makes some technologies go obsolete sooner to help the uh, the AI build ships that are not uh, <laughs> outdated before they even enter service. But I'm wondering if that contributes to the AI scrapping ships, like discarding the signs of fairly new warships. The uh, Jia Qing class battlecruiser, only one year old. And the design has already been scrapped. Germany scrapped battlecruiser Derflinger, which is not that old. So, not sure if that was scrapped because of economical reasons or just uh, because they figured it was now outdated, which it probably wasn't. Let's go to April, see what happens. High explosive incendiary. Sweden wants to buy a battleship. 56% profit. I think we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Now, let's uh, just take a look at this. I'm gonna set everything to limited. Since I select all of you, there we go. Limited. Come on, it's being kind of, kind of weird right now. Okay, limited. And what I figured out was that if you set them to low crew, they actually become cheaper than if you uh, mothball them. So that's why I have the add crew thing um, disabled. I'm just going to do that with a bunch more ships, except the ones with veteran crew. It has now been done. But also, look at this. What are we getting for uh, gun um, mechanism technology? Double, crew, double turrets on light cruisers. Only 10 months away. Now, what are we going to do now, though? Uh, actually making money now that the fleet is back in port most of it set to limited and most of my expensive ships set to low crew yeah it's time to design something new so let's design something new so 
first of all, new battleship hull. Is that the same as the San Pietro Apostolo hull? I don't think it is. Let me take a look at you, San Pietro. No, that's not the same. That's not the same. So we can design a new battleship. And that's what we're going to start off doing. And also, we need new heavy cruisers. Which one was San Pietro? Was that... That's this one. Max size, 30,000 tons. Base cost of 58 million. 76 million. Okay, Aquila Volante, Aquila Valiera. That's a... Uh, that's a mouthful of a name. We're just gonna call this the Aquila class. Max optimal stop, stop speed, top speed. I can't speak today. Twenty-two knots. We're gonna turn. Uh, we're gonna start off at twenty-two and see where we go from there. Main towers sixty-seven hundred. Right, we're gonna go tall, advanced. That's a Japanese tower. Why is the shipyard being all laggy today? I'm gonna set beam to minus two. Sleek it up just a little bit. Just a tad. We're gonna go with this rear tower. Funnel, you fit up here. We're gonna go oil one. We're gonna go turbo electric actually on this one. It's gonna be quite an expensive ship. I might move this whole thing um, forwards quite a bit. Range is incredibly good. Now let's see. 17, 667. If I bump it up to 24. 1815. That's not that much of a uh, weight increase. How about 25? Well, that's a thousand tons more than 22. I think 25 knots is a decent speed for a battleship. Now, main guns. What do we got? Not gonna mess with Mark 1s. So it's either gonna be 13 Mark 3, which we've found kind of lacking, or are we gonna go straight for the 16 Mark 2? I think we are. Needs a bigger barbette. I think enlarged. It's gonna look right. And then we move this up. Come on. And let's place you here. There we go. Now, they're only Mark II guns, so they're gonna have the same issue with uh, lackluster accuracy as some of my other ships. I have to wait to offset. We can move you up a little bit. Mm, but maybe not. Maybe... Uh, Maybe the added accuracy from this 
it's gonna make up for it and the better accuracy from the hull what kind of resistance are we looking at 79.3 by the way this um, Austrian battleship another reason why it <laughs> took was so hard to damage is that it had a resistance of 130 or something which it still does even after I reduced some uh, some things it's a very tough ship and I don't think I can make this as tough as that captured Austrian ship let's see crep 2 let's go barbet 3 to begin with resistance now up to 85 There we go, overweight. It's 89. Increased AP, standard. Why are you being all slideshowy today, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts? Uh, electrical? As for rangefinder, we're gonna go coincidence four and RDF. Okay, let's see where we can reduce some armor by just a little bit. Gonna bump you down to 18 inches. 16. What kind of deck penetrations are we looking at? 3.4, and that's at max range. I think five is gonna be enough. Let's go 16 on the main belt. 5, 5, 4 and a half. 4. We're almost at the limit. 16 on the conning tower also. Let's go 1 on the last inner belt. Okay, still overweight. We're gonna drop the speed down to 24. I think we are. Didn't save a whole lot of weight. But it did save a little bit. My other battleships. Uh, San Pietro has a top speed of 25. I'd like these two to be able to keep up with one another. Uh, the Austrians are uh, at 21. Kind of um, flash fire chance 3.8. That's not too bad. That's doable. I think if we go four on the four and a half belts. And 15 on the main belt. Let's reduce the armor a little bit. We can go 17, 15 on the turrets and barbettes. We can reduce this four weight a little bit. Tuck this in a little bit more. I was hoping I was going to be able to fit a uh, secondary barbette between the B turret and the main tower. But I don't think I will be able to. Still a thousand tons overweight. Where'd all that weight come from? Stick to standard ammo for now. Where did all that weight come from? Probably these massive 16 inch guns, right? Are we gonna drop down to. I think we're gonna drop down to 15. kind of weight are we going to save? Well, they don't look as good though. 
they're quite a bit lighter. Especially if we give them the same kind of armor. Yeah, we're saving quite a bit of weight by doing this. Like so. Okay. Yeah, no longer overweight. Uh, these are uh, not quite as punchy, but we can make up for that by going with heavy shells. Forty-nine caliber. How about we make them fifty-fives? Their deck penetration was not that good to begin with, but let's see, accuracy at twenty thousand, one point one. I know this has been rebalanced. Normally, you just get better accuracy at twenty thousand, uh, point eight. Yeah, you do get better accuracy. I noticed that at with some guns at some range increments you actually gain get worse accuracy if you increase the length now let's see 4 inch guns some secondaries would be nice Not gonna go like all overboard, plastering them all over the place. Because they do make the ship more vulnerable. Especially to having crew taken out. Uh, that would look wrong if I just put it. Oh, I wanted to put a b tiny barbette here. A tiny bit of a four weight offset. So we're gonna just slide this backwards. No? That makes us overweight. So we're just gonna slide these backwards then. Reduce the four weight offset that way. And use the saved weight to. Oh, ship is now overweight. Just give these a little bit of um, protection. Just so they don't get taken out by everything. There we go. How long are these? 33. Yeah, they also need to be a little bit longer, don't they? So they can actually... Uh, actually hit DDs and stuff. Before those DDs are in torpedo range. 38 caliber. Three point six, that's the double of uh, one point eight, right? That's the max barrel length I can do fifteen. Thirty nine. Now they have a uh, range of a little bit more than ten kilometers. So they can actually be useful now. And hit stuff. Uh yeah, there we go, that's the Aquila class. It's probably not going to be very good when new. But I'm hoping we're going to get Mark 315s in the not too distant future. First off though. Now, I said I was only going to build one battleship on each hull. And that is true. But what I'm going to build now is, well, technically it's going to be a um, class as a battleship by the game.
but that's not really what it is so I don't consider it an actual battleship this is gonna be an invasion barge and what it's gonna be I'm gonna try and build a ship that is as heavy as possible for as cheaply as possible so it needs main guns are we actually gonna um, we're gonna add a couple of uh, 16 inch guns just so it has something something because the game is probably gonna throw this into battles coal fuel is the cheapest turbine engines cheapest option Crop one is the cheapest. We're gonna keep that. Now all of this adds. Which one adds shipbuilding time, ship construction time plus ten percent plus five percent, plus two point five percent. Nope. I want to keep it cheap. I don't want to keep it quick to produce. Build time fifteen months. Uh, we're still going to add a um, rangefinder, though. Which one is cheapest? Plus 350 shell cost, plus 350, plus 300. Uh, TNT2 was actually cheaper. Core 2 didn't make much of a difference. Are you gonna add ship construction time? No, not really. But you will add cost. Let's go with Citadel 2, just so you have something. Ship construction time, nope. Hundred and thirty million. Or reduced ammo. Standard reloading is good enough. Now armor though. This should have quite a bit of armor and I'm gonna put quite a bit of armor on the belts just so that it's actually heavy. Wow. It's not adding enough weight. It's adding cost. It's not adding enough weight. Come on. Okay, that's uh, Citadel armor is expensive. Wow. How can I make this heavier without making it more expensive? That's the question. Wow, that does not make a big difference in cost, but it adds quite a few tons. And if you didn't get it, the whole point of this is just so I can have more tonnage to throw at invasions. Oh, hull cost, plus 20%. That didn't add that much. No, let's take it anti-flood one. So this is not a very uh, very good ship. I just hope it doesn't get dragged into a bunch of battles. This is just mostly going to sit in port, being on low crew or um, mothballed.
Some parts are badly placed. Where are you badly placed? Yeah, low crew or mothballed. So it doesn't cost me too much money. Put a barbette on you just so you don't look so silly. At least. Yeah, it's gonna cost me a little bit more, but. There we go. And if they do get dragged into battle, at least they have some firepower to go with it, right? I uh, don't need better steering. Maybe hydraulic. Anti-Torp, how much do you add? A little bit. But there, three of these, that should be 100,000 tons. And that's their whole objective. What's the ship construction time? 18 months. Eh. I'd like it to have been shorter, but that's what it is. 18 months is not too bad. All things considered. Now, armored cruiser. Uh, actually, experimental heavy cruiser is what we're going to build. And these are going to be actual good ships that I want to build quite a few of. Max optimal speed 35.5 knots. You can make these quite speedy. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm going to leave the beam alone. We're overweight, but... Okay. Tower spotting, not that good. 4300. Yep, you're going to fit there. Oh, uh, I only get these rare towers. Advanced funnel, 38, 36, 34. I can, at least I can fit two of them. Oil one. Gear turbines. It's 9,250. With turbo electric. It's actually lighter, but it makes the ship a whole lot more expensive. But it fixes the um, Are we going to go turbo electric? I think we are. Induced boilers. Let's drop down to 35 knots. Beam, minus 2. Can we do that? Minus 2 is possible. Engine efficiency is now up. Barbettes. Oh, no, you have a built-in barbette. Fine. Guns. I think I want to do 10 inch. Enough to be uh, like a serious punch. But not like too much. Like I feel 11 inch would be. Let's fit you here. Can I fit you two back to back? Mm, 
No. Not quite. Uh, I can put some kind of secondary up there. In actuality, I would like to um, move this further back. Yeah, that's gonna fix my uh, my weight offset. So we're gonna drop that barbette, put this back up here. Find something to put in between here. Something to just kind of fill in the gap. What I could do is, like my tried and tested. Add some of these square barbettes. And do that. And just put some, uh, some kind of secondary guns on it. Like some triple four inch guns. Well, they don't fit there. Come on. Why is it being all laggy today at the shipbuilder? Should I fit some um, some kind of torpedo launcher? Center line, like here. That's that not going to interfere too much with my uh, turret. Uh, a little bit. Let's stick to one launcher. That's good enough. Now, we don't have that much weight to play with. I think... I think we can save some weight by um, cutting armor off the turrets, because they probably have a lot of armor as baseline. Resistance 36.9, yeah, that's quite terrible. Let's see. 41 resistance. Yeah. That's not very good. Come on. I picked increased AP. Tube powder and TNT2. Make it a 22 inch torpedo. We've got a range of 9.8 kilometers. We're gonna make you electric. You got a range of 7.5 kilometers. Uh, let's keep you standard. Electrical 2, turret traverse. I think these torpedoes are just going to tempt me to get my uh, cruisers into harm's way, so I'm going to drop them. Now, armor, yeah. Turret armor. Way excessive. Six inches is maximum on the main belt, okay. So this is quite light. 1.5 on the main deck. This is quite a lightly armored uh, cruiser. I'm gonna go, yeah, just two on the turret tops. Now 
We're about 800 tons overweight. And we have some very um, unarmored 4-inch guns. Okay, they don't even fit if I um, try to enlarge them so they can be armored. So we're not gonna. Now, how do we save that much weight? Probably by going down to Anti-Torp 2. Let's save it a little bit of weight. Anti-Torp 1 this is going to be fragile. Mini bulkheads? Yeah, we're getting closer. Eleven nine thirty nine. Yeah, it is lighter. There we go. Auxiliary one. You get a bunch of uh, bonuses from the turbo electric anyway. Actually, this is turning out to be very very. Okay, that's. Yeah, that's heavier than turbo electric. We're gonna keep the turbo electric because otherwise we're over uh, displacement. Range is just about okay. Is that it? Is that the uh, at the Etna? Hope it's not gonna be as explosive as it sounds. Yeah, I was hoping I could build a bunch of these, but I think they're just gonna be too expensive to mass produce. Yeah, I could probably make them slower and cheapen them up that way. Mm. But then they die <laughs> very easily. This one is slow. I want to have some tanky heavy cruisers to go with the Austrian battleships. How big can he be? 16,000 tons. Now, these will not be very fast. They can't be. But at least they can have some armor and some decent guns. Twenty one knots is all they need. Because that's how slow the Austrian battleships are. Uh, we're gonna stick to normal turbines? Yeah, why not? It's cheaper. Well, if they can't catch up with anything, at least they can shoot stuff. I'm going all out. Elevens. Simple A, B, X, Y layout. We can adjust the balance later. And casemate guns. Mark 4, 5 inch. All over. This is the nicest of the armored cruiser hulls to build on. Auxiliary 3, shaft 2. I'm wondering if I can keep the cost below 100 million. Maybe not. Things are adding on. What kind of resistance are we at for this? 106. The Citadel 3, it's 111. So we're getting battleship levels of um, resistance here. 
four weight offset that can be adjusted. Increased AP, standard, double capped. I said double capped. Electrical one. It's not going to be fast enough to uh, throw the guns off target. So we don't have to worry about that. Let's go 11 on the turrets. Might increase that in the future. Three on the turret tops. Gonna go 2.5 on the main deck. And we're gonna go 1.5 on the fore and aft decks. Now what's the maximum on the belt armor? We can go 11 inches on the belt armor. Now we're gonna go into overweight territory, but I think we can claw some of that back. And I want some decent armor on the superstructure. And on the Citadel. Alright, we're a little bit overweight. I think we can drop the range down. That's not very fast. We give them geared turbines. Not great, not great, but we have a four weight issue. And actually, before I do anything, the casemates, what kind of armor do you have? Eight inches, that's actually decent. I'm gonna drop the first casemate uh, gun. 0.14 weight, is that bad? No, it isn't. That's quite decent. Well, these are 48s. I would like to make them 50. Is that plus 4? Yeah. These are 42. But I would like to make them 45. There we go. And we got a little bit of weight to play with. Can I fit 5 inch secondary turrets on this hull? Yeah, I can. There we go. I can pull you back a little bit. Range could not be added. One hundred and thirteen million. If I make you turbine powered, one hundred and eight. Uh, that's not a big difference. Turbo electric, one hundred and twenty-six. Actually, that's decent. That's not too expensive for all the stuff you get. I'd say worth it. Let's give you unbalanced rudder. Triple bottom? Yeah, this is a tough cruiser. What kind of armor did the uh, the five inch turrets get? Uh, not much. But that works. Yeah, that's a tough cruiser. Give you increased ammo. Uh oh. Overweight again. Standard ammo then. 
wasn't overweight by that much, but... In fact, let's drop that turret, then increase the ammo. Uh, heavy shells? No, not possible. Yeah, we're gonna be happy with this. Okay, let's build some ships. Um, Aquila. Simple enough. I can only build one. So I'm just gonna build one. Invasion barge. I want to build three. Remember, the game counts these as battleships. I don't. So, uh, three. Etna. They are insanely expensive. For what they are. I think a squadron of four. That would... Uh, a squadron of two. Actually. And the San Pietro, which is very affordable, has a lot of firepower, is tough, but it's not very fast. Let's build three of them to go with the three Austrian battleships. So they can be their own little heavy hitting force. Uh, the Austrian battleships are in uh, Naples. So these are going to be in Naples. Naples. Uh, the two Etna. Where are my two battle cruisers? The Perla and San Antonio and Kona. And Kona. Aquila, you're gonna go to La Spezia, that's my main port. Invasion barge. Let's see. Bari? It's not a big port. Yeah. Invasion barge to Bari. There we go. One. Invasion barge two. So they're going to be finished in 18 months. And I hope I get another one of these popping up. They're not going to be in time for this one. But maybe the next one. In the meantime, China. We're going to be at war very soon. Will the other battleship get here in time? Yeah, probably. Let's go, May. See if something happens. Oil discovery in Ecuador. Minus 2.6 with China. You get a new DD hull. Uh, yeah, my ships are on low crew, I'm aware. France is attacking Libya, and I don't like it. My armies have still not figured out they can just um, send a couple of guys with Carcanos and take Austria, Slovenia, Croatia, and Bosnia for free because they have no army. Uh, but yeah, that's not happening. Can't do anything about that. All I could do is, uh, well, what I've done, make sure the Austrians um, disintegrate and I have armies nearby ready to do something.
but actually making them do something? That's sadly not up to me. Cruiser design. What are we getting? Advanced battle cruiser. Ooh, we're getting a new battle cruiser hull. In only six months. Finances. We're losing a bit of money. We're building a lot of ships now, so that's uh, not too surprising, really. Mm, but at least the economy is growing, so that loss is going to shrink. Well, this conquest will um, play itself out without my involvement. It's going to add some unrest, but I think we can take it. Chinese Empire, minus 4.2, that means war. And yep, that means war. I'm not going to pay them off. War, Italy and China. Uh, that makes me f more friendly with Britain, France, Germany, United States, Russia, Japan, and Spain. So, everyone liked that I went to war with, uh, with China. Alright. Also, I'm allied with Sweden. I don't know if you saw that in the previous episode. So, I have my one uh, one fleet here, near China. Uh, they're probably gonna intercept this one. Twelve light cruisers, alright. I got two battleships, four heavy cruisers. Four DDs. Twelve light cruisers. Hmm... Yep, I'm guessing we're gonna we're gonna fight the Chinese. Let's move you here, ready to intercept. Would be nice to get Sumatra. Politics. Sumatra only. 17,000 tons. Yes, please. Yeah, we're gonna invade Sumatra, finally get some oil. Because we need that. Uh, San Antonio and uh, Perla, it's your turn to shine. You're also gonna get out here. Uh, let's unload crew the uh, the DDs in Ancona. There we go. And move these out. Only 17,000 tons to take Sumatra. I would have guessed I would need a lot more, but if not, fine. We're taking Sumatra. That's kind of a detour from my uh, long-term plan of uh, re-establishing the Roman Empire, taking all the coastline to the Mediterranean, the Mare Nostrum, as the Romans called it. But yeah, I need oil. And Sumatra is an easy prize. Of course, I don't have the uh, the tonnage to take any um, actual mainland land from China, so I'm not even gonna try. I'm gonna take Sumatra. I'm gonna sink some of their ships, get a peace treaty, and that'll be that. And then I'm gonna focus on I think I think Spain. I think Spain will be my uh, my next target. Yeah, probably Spain, because they'd be an easy uh, an easy win. I think I might even be able to invade their uh, homeland. But that's for later. First off, China 
and we're gonna fight some in the next episode, I think. Tomorrow. Hopefully we're gonna fight. Hopefully my army will also figure out that, yeah, they can uh, they can grab some land here. <laughs> like Croatia. Croatia has the same income, uh, just a little bit more than Sumatra. <laughs> but I sure need more than 17,000 tons to take it. Well, well. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, and take care.